Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. Today is day two of the Marguerite Miller Christmas Edition hashtag Christmas glue book, the collage art glue book. So it's December the 2nd. And yesterday we did December the 1st. <coughs> Excuse me, I've still got a cough. Um, and um, that one was to incorporate something that you decorate or display with every year into a collage. So I've used a Christmas tree and stamped on Noel because my late father was born on Christmas Day and his name was Noel. So that was December the 1st. So we're on to December the 2nd and the collage assignment is find the following find the following items to create a collage something beautifully wrapped clothing accessory a bit of pink something with antlers ink splotches and the bonus numbers and it's hashtag Christmas collage number two now something beautifully wrapped I've cut out these lovely red and gold presents that have been beautifully wrapped with ribbon so we've got those um a clothing accessory well I, I've got buttons um I wasn't sure whether a clothing accessory is something like a zip or a button or a hook and an eye or whether it's um an adornment like a brooch or even um, something like you'd wear with an outfit you know like a hat or something so I'm, I'm sticking with buttons so I've picked out from my stash some red and green buttons here to go with the Christmas theme um, so we'll choose one or more of those something a bit of pink I've got a bit of pink strip um, excuse me for yawning uh, wishing you happiness at Christmas it says on it um, so that would be nice that's the pink um, something with antlers I had let's have a look now I have this piece of note paper which is a beautiful stag here so I'm going to use that um, and then ink splotches so I've got a piece of watercolour paper here I have hardly any ink all I have is what's left in this cartridge from a calligraphy pen so I'm going to have to try and do some ink splodges somehow with that but the watercolour paper is very porous I'm hoping that I can if I concentrate it in one corner and I can cut round it perhaps we'll see how we get on we may or may not incorporate that but the bonus is numbers so I've got some green raffle tickets here green um, border ones so I thought those would be nice actually to use um, one or other of those okay so it's a bit of a hodgepodge again of things <laughs> I think that's the challenge so let me get some um, scrap paper here um, that I've already used to practice with some inks now just going to put this down here I hope you can see it let's put that to one side and everything that goes with it okay and then let's have a look and see so I mean I'm just going to go like that and like that and I hope I'm not getting it all over the place so if I do a few this is black calligraphy ink all that's left. I'm sorry for the banging. 
I might be knocking the camera actually so they are spreading I can see them so the paper is taking them up I don't know if you can see that there um, so we may put them to one side yeah I think that's it oh my goodness I'm gonna have to scrub my hands before I go to work tomorrow look <laughs> I probably think I've been up the chimneys or something so they're beginning to spread and look like ink splodges ink splotches <laughs> so I think they look like ink splotches I don't actually unfortunately have a stencil or anything for ink splotches so um, that one's looking rather nice so we're going to have to make do with that I think I wonder if I tip it oh if you tip it and bang it a bit the excess does come out making these kind of my I'm tempted to actually fold it over and just press down on it like this and see what we get Okay, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I think those are all right. Oh, my hands. I've got a wet wipe here, but <laughs> I think it's going to take more than a wet wipe to get my hands clean with this ink. Goodness me, I'm going to have to really scrub them. <laughs> okay, right, well, we'll leave that to one side to do its thing. And um, put that away. Okay, bring back the book. Oh. Okay, so now, hmm. So we've got our stag here. Quite nice to have him kind of center, I guess. It's a bit of a sticky note, so we could kind of put him there, I guess. Um. Wishing you a happy happiness at Christmas. Then we've got our buttons here and here. Uh, um, we need to find somewhere for our parcels. So Maybe that could just go over there like that. We could have our parcels clustered down the bottom. You know, a sort of a heap like they would be around a tree. Um, so. Buttons nicer. Um, those are berries that are already on the page. So then we've got our numbers, so we could use an eighty-two. We don't have to. Let's go for the middle one. We could have a couple of those. We could sort of have them, I don't know, down here a bit. Or maybe up here. And perhaps down there, like so. So that's something with antlers bit of pink beautifully wrapped presents um, clothing accessory 
I'm choosing buttons and ink splotches, numbers. Okay, so the ink splotches, I'm very pleased with those. So I think what we'll do is let me just see. Um, I just have to weight this down a bit actually for a minute. So we could put the ink splotches. that was going to fall over don't you just love it so I think we'll just tear this down a bit like so Maybe that could just go under there like that and maybe we'll just have a small piece down the bottom as a balance. So. Something like that, maybe. Gosh, I think what I'm finding difficult is the things that are already on the pages somehow. I just don't know why, but I am. Okay, right, well, I'm, I'm not going to overthink it. I'm going to... I think tear around this a bit more start with so it's not so square and then I think we will get this down on the page so bit like that and then I'm going to use my vintage photo to ink round this give it some definition well I'm quite pleased with the way they turned out those are genuine ink splodges so again I'm just gonna tear this up a bit I think Okay. Okay, so we might as well ink round these other things that we think we're going to use. And this I think I've already gone round that I have, so I better go round these because they came off a Christmas card. <laughs> Good way of recycling. Okay, um, and we'll go round this. Right, so let's kind of have that 
maybe there and this perhaps here this over here maybe and it's 82 there maybe 84 here uh, Eighty four. So I move it across a bit, I think. Okay, right, and that one can go kind of like that. And then we've got our parcels here, so Gosh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, help me, please, because I. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um. Okay, I mean, that looks a bit like cowhide, doesn't it? <laughs> the way it turned out. I don't like these tickets like this. I'm going to cut them in half. That wasn't very straight. So Okay, let's Let's just put those down to start with because I'm not sure we're going to put all of it down actually. So I hope you can see okay. I'm doing this in the evening. It's quite obviously dark and I've got the blind down. Be interested to see what other people make of this or for those that may have joined in okay and I'm going to put this down I was debating on whether to cut this bit up but I think I think I like the whole sheet So maybe something we're gonna have that there like so. Okay, and um I, w I want to put these down at the bottom I think. So I kind of wanted them together, um you know like parcels would be. Uh and then maybe these can go up the top with the berries. But so far I quite like that. Then we've got this pink. So we could have that there. And then just, you know, why not use the two here and perhaps an eight. I 
have an H up here. Um, cutting these up now. Don't want them together so we just have one over there take that away four and an eight and i suppose you might as well use the two as it's second of december i have that down here somewhere And then maybe just a tiny bit of this. Um, I could still get that under there. just ink that and see what I think I think it's the colour of it. it it's just reminding me of a cowhide so I prefer that to how it was um, yeah I prefer that. And maybe if we just have it like that. So we've got something beautifully wrapped, we have a clothing accessory, we have a bit of pink here, something with antlers, it's a lovely stag, and ink splotches which we've made, and some numbers. I'm wondering whether I find a label with numbers on, um, substitute one of those. I just get my labels out. Let's see. We have got some in here that are just numbers. For instance, that one. That's nice. So let's take the eight off. And maybe have that over here. I mean, I could put another button on if I wanted to, but I, I don't really think it needs it. Okay, um, I think that's what I'm going to go with. Right, so I shall ink round these. Sorry if I knocked you, the cable's hanging down again. To try and put that on a little bit of um, sparkly. what you call this um it's like a mesh isn't it so let's 
let's just put that on top of that. Give it a bit of sparkle and a bit of something different. Okay, right. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm already doing that, aren't I? Okay, so beacon three and one for the buttons, which I'm not putting thread in. I'm just going to put them down like that. I quite like them sometimes like that. Whoops. I suppose these are all down to interpretation, really. What you think maybe an accessory might be for clothing. Oh, the dye's coming off that red button. <laughs> it must be this glue. I shan't move them again. I have to leave them like that now. Okay, so we'll just ink crown this. It's longitude and latitude, I can see. And before we put that down, let's put this down first. And it can go there like so. Put these down. Hopefully they'll stick and stay down with this art glitter. Otherwise, I usually use the um, beacon. For the thicker card. I hope I'm on camera and not out of shot. Sorry if I was just then. Just give that a press down. Like so. Let's just put Arthur's paperweight on there for a second. Put this down. Bit of sparkle for Christmas. And it should be all right now. I'm just going to stick that bit of washi down as it's irritating me. It keeps popping up. So does this now. Okay. Do we want that here or do we want that here? There or there? I think I prefer it down the bottom.
Okay. Oh gosh. It's definitely the dye from those button. Hmm. So are we going to put the four, maybe the eight on down there? I guess that would be quite nice. Or do we want to find two or more different style of number? Um, so we've got that there. It's a bit lost. And we've got 60 cents. A bit too great big. Big. Um, no, I think. Let me see. What do I think? Perhaps I'll just put them. Oh, the decisions of decisions. <laughs> Keep changing my mind. Let's take those off and see what we think of, of that. No, I don't like it. Right, let's stick at least one of these on. I'll put them both on now, I've cut them out. Okay. Now... Now I have my, I still have some Christmas, let's put that over there, Christmas stamps, let's see if I've got one, it's really enough, well they're not really appropriate colours, so No, I think that's enough. So that is hashtag Christmas collage two. So it's December the second. So we had something beautifully wrapped. We've got some parcels here in red and gold. A clothing accessory I thought would be button. A bit of pink here in this banner that says wishing you Christmas happiness at Christmas um, something with antlers we've got this beautiful stag ink splotches which I did with my last remaining bit of ink on some watercolour paper and the bonus work was numbers and um, I've put um, just going to take the white off a little bit so there we have it so that's hashtag christmas collage number two yes another strange looking one so what do we have tomorrow so we have to find um on december the third we have to find things with rings a wreath a word written backwards 
well i already stamped noel backwards on the first page up here and had to cover it over so that might be something i could do again something found in a desk hmm something salty and a bonus is a rubber stamping oh, that sounds quite interesting so i shall be on the hunt for those ready for tomorrow okay that is it so far i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you all again tomorrow take care everyone bye bye